Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna start doing some work outside in our garden. We are really trying to do a no dig garden as best as we can. Although last year I did kind of a hybrid method and then really didn't do too much of, of no dig at all. Uh, we did use wood chips last year, but I still tilled the garden and it was a giant weedy mess. So this year, trying to be a little bit more prepared. I came out here in the fall and put cardboard down and spread around a couple um, dump trailers worth of wood chips in the garden, which uh, really isn't the proper way that you should be doing no dig. Um, really, you should be doing two layers of cardboard and then compost and then maybe some wood chips. Our garden is 2,500 square feet, so I did not have enough cardboard, despite the large amount of cardboard that I've been saving, to do two layers. So we just did one layer of cardboard and I also didn't have compost yet. So I did a very thick layer of wood chips. It has been suppressing the weeds, uh, but some of our thicker weeds are starting to grow through. So behind me here is some composted horse manure that uh, one of my neighbors has hooked me up with. And we also used some of this manure last year and it did fantastic. So it's been composting for two to three years minimum. So today, uh, the area of the garden that I do not have done here yet, we're going to put down some cardboard spread around this uh, composted manure and uh, prepare the rest of the garden. It has been raining the last couple days, so this manure is probably gonna be really heavy to move. So hopefully this isn't a giant nightmare. Okay, so here's some of that manure we got. Uh, my neighbor has a, he's a decent sized dump trailer, not a massive one, and he came by with two loads. And unfortunately he said this is the end of his, uh, his horse manure, he doesn't have his horse anymore, so this is the end of the road for really cheap compost. Um, but it's fairly broken down. There are a few larger chunks in here. Um, they do break up pretty easy though. I just took a shovel to some of those larger pieces last year. Um, and once I had it spread in the garden within just, you know, a matter of a few weeks, you, you couldn't tell the difference. It just looked like soil or, or compost. And I'm not sure if this is showing up on camera here. There is some steam rising off of the horse manure here. So uh, that's probably a good sign that uh, it's still decomposing. So here quickly, we'll just do a quick walkthrough of the inside of the garden, and I can show you what I'm talking about as far as our progress. So this kind of center path here has not been addressed yet, and it was just full of grass last year and was a big mess. So I am waiting on my uh, tree company to get back with me to provide me with some more uh, wood chips so I can finish my progress here. But this north side of the garden is the area that I worked in before winter came and got down all of my cardboard and wood chips. So you can see here on the edge, uh, just the edge of my, my cardboard and the wood chips had actually sat for a little while on our property before um, I ended up spreading it. And if we dig down here, you can see some of it's already composted on me. Um, I put this on pretty thick, more like six to eight inches in some areas um, to try to suppress the weeds as best I can. But look, it's driving me nuts as I'm looking here. There's a weed. We have a couple weeds over here. Alex and I came out here the other night, <laughs> did a bit of weeding, and some of these guys were coming through already, which just have these gnarly roots to them. Uh, they, they, some of these roots were so big that uh, we were pulling them out of the bed that we had carrots in last year and I was uh, pretty much convinced that I was pulling a carrot out of the ground um, just because of how, how, how big these roots are. Um, and the darker areas you can see under these trellises, this is where we have spread some of our wood ash from our wood stove to try to help with our soil health as well. And then this little back corner, um, when I was spreading our wood chips out this area actually had the uh was at the bottom of the wood chip pile that i had composting for a while and uh it had really composted the best so again this is just a small handful and as you can see the the wood chips are just barely on the surface and as soon as you dig down just a little bit um it's you're, you're looking at compost or, or soil at this point which is just fantastic so this was the weediest area of our garden last year. We really didn't plant in this bed, which was part of the reason that led to all of the weeds. So at one point last year where we're looking right now, um, the weeds had gotten so bad that I came out here with some cardboard that I had, threw that down, 
and then I also had some straw. So I went ahead and threw that over the cardboard just to try to stop the weeds in their, in their place. So it looks here, you can still see some of the cardboard sitting down here on the ground. So that is still underneath, but the plan is this area that has the straw today, we're gonna cover that with more cardboard and we're gonna dump all of that lovely horse manure on this area of the garden. I am tired, tired. I've been outside all day. My cousin came by, she brought her husband with her and they kind of surprised me. They offered to do some help. So we got a lot of that manure spread. Um, and I got a lot more manure than what I thought. I was pretty worried that out of all that manure, it wasn't really gonna cover the area that we wanted and it got it all covered. And I think we probably only went through about half of it. So that's good news. Um, we ran short on cardboard, but um, I think it'll do. We just kind of laid the, uh, the manure on thicker in some areas. So I'm ready to kick back, put my feet up, but Alex is real anxious now that the kids are in bed and she wants to do some planting. So she's drugged me outside and uh, we're gonna head out to the garden here and see what, uh, what it is she's wanting to get planted in the ground tonight. So this is what's left of the manure pile. It never quite translates on camera, but it is much higher than what it looks. So like I said, I think we went through about, I think we went through about half of it. So this is actually good because I've got plenty left over now with this being all composted that when we do some actual planting in areas that uh, this isn't spread so thick, we can now mix this in with our seedlings. So here's the garden. I kind of gave you a preview earlier, but this is what we managed to get covered with all that manure and pretty much everywhere in this dark area is an area that we we're able to get down with some cardboard. So covered everything up and uh, it's quite the contrast to the area of the garden that I just have wood chips on. So um, this area over here doesn't have any compost from this year laid on it. So like I said, we're gonna use that uh, when we do our planting and we'll just rake back the wood chips and place some of that composted manure in when we do our planting. But over here, according to uh, how you would do a no-dig garden, um, we should be able to plant directly into this compost. And since this manure has been sitting for years, um, it shouldn't harm the plants. So it looks like Alex is busy trying to mark out some uh, some rows here so we don't have a janky planting like last year and have things kind of relatively straight. What are you working on over here? I'm gonna try and direct so cabbage. We have seeds started inside, but we had cabbage moths last year very bad. And they were in this area under your feet. And so I'm trying to get them as far away as I can. That's smart. So what are those varieties of cabbage? Copenhagen Market Cabbage and Red Acre Cabbage, both from M.I. Gardner. Did we grow the green cabbage last year? I, it was a green, but it was a different variety. I do not remember the variety, just one I picked up at the hardware store. And this is for this time of year, we can just direct sow? From what I have learned online, yes, we're supposed to be able to direct sow now, even though they do say direct sow after last frost date. But since they're cold tolerant, according to the package, we should be able to direct sow now, and then they should just pop up and be good. And we do have some covers and we'll be watching the weather. <laughs> if it, we do get any hard freezes or soft want any freezes below freezing, I'll come out and cover them after they've germinated. Yeah, because what, we're in, uh, is it March 20th today? March 21st, somewhere Today's around Today's the parts? first official day of spring. Okay, and our last frost date's like mid-May, so we're like two weeks or two months early on that. Yeah, it's but... around May 1st. Today is the 20th. Okay, so what, about a month and a half early, mm -hmm. but we'll see if that's true. Yeah, I'm just going to direct so cold hardy stuff, so, and ones that I've seen that you can direct so now. It's the green Copenhagen market cabbage. My good friend Michael told me that I needed to get them in the ground now to avoid the cabbage moths. So Michael, thank you, I'm listening to you. Trying to get them in now to get a harvest before the moths come and eat them all. 
feels like way less work than last year planting it in just on the compost on top like this and not having to scrape back the mulch and dig down completely it's very different in a good way <laughs> We are quickly losing daylight, so it's time to wrap this video up. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you got any value out of today's video, please click the like button so it can spread to more people, and we'll see you in the next video.